Welcome to the Placentia area, a gateway in the east, a gateway through time. As the sun rises, a day of cultural and ecological exploration awaits you. If arriving by the Nova Scotia Newfoundland Ferry, you can start your day by visiting the Argentia Tourist Chalet. While you're inquiring about Newfoundland's major attractions, be sure to check out our unique and incredible Museum of Atlantic Allies, housed in the chalet. Historical photographs, prints, film images, and other graphical presentations are used to tell the story of the evolution of Argentia as a community and its strategic role as a U.S. Naval and Army base during and after World War II. Put yourself in the midst of the social impact the base had on the area. Residents of Argentia had to relocate, along with their deceased loved ones already buried in the ground. The Freshwater Cemetery stands as a reminder to this bittersweet era in Plasentia's past. Plaisance, Newfoundland's ancient French capital, has a rich cultural history. You can experience it firsthand on Castle Hill. Bilingual guides bring you back in time to the 18th century, highlighting the fort's importance in the battles between the French and the English. Also, during your visit to Castle Hill, be sure to catch the faces of Fort Royal by the Placentia area Teatro de Heritage. I my own and I insist they be deployed by sea. If you native assist this body, I leave you to it. I remit command back to you will set sail for France immediately to make my complaint at court. Adieu, my lord. Known for its historic integrity and entertainment factor, the play demonstrates the hardships of the Placentia people in 1696, when the renowned Captain d'Iberville is sent from France to help the corrupt Governor de Bouillon in his efforts to rid St. John's of the English. If you're in the mood for more live entertainment, the theatre group also performs vignettes, spirit wax and dinner theatres throughout the week. There's something for everyone. Some will make you teary-eyed, others will have you in hysterics. By following Route 100, you will make your way along the Cape Shore Loop. The winding hills and vivid scenery are breathtaking. Not unlike coastal Ireland, the Cape Shore is full of greens and blues, and friendly people with endearing Irish-tinged accents. A popular swimming park, Gooseberry Cove, offers the thrill of ocean surf and a naturally occurring swimming pool on the same beach. Another site that attracts visitors from all over the world is Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve. Truly a unique experience, most can only dream about seeing. This gorgeous site is in a class all its own. The accessibility, preservation, and naturalness of this bird sanctuary lends itself to being one of the most sought-after destinations in Newfoundland tourism. You will see sheep on the mountainsides, whales in the ocean, and over 70,000 seabirds circling and grooming on the cliffs, almost in arm's reach, a truly fascinating experience. If you find yourself wanting to spend more time on the Cape Shore, make yourself at home at the Cape St. Mary's Bird Island Resort. Awaken to the fragrant salt sea air and the hush of the Atlantic Ocean whispering at your window. Just a short drive away in Colonnette, visit Rocky River Fishway, where you can see salmon being released into the river, returning upstream to spawn, and jumping high out of the water. Nearby, you can visit the breathtaking Cataracts Provincial Park, Walkways let you descend all the way to the bottom of the waterfalls, crossing the river at the bottom, all without getting wet. If your journey takes you back to Placentia, be sure to check out Placentia's famous heritage buildings. The O'Reilly House Museum, built in 1902, acted as a magistrate's home. Its unique combination of historical restoration and informative exhibits provides a glimpse of the Placentia area at the turn of the 19th century. St. Luke's Anglican Church attracts tourists each year for its Basque grave sites and its link to King William IV. The courthouse was built at the beginning of the 20th century to replace its predecessor, built in 1774. It continues to house all the court sessions for the Placentia area. Placentia has strong Catholic ties, which connect back to the Irish ancestry in the town. 
The Roman Catholic Church is the tallest building in the town, dating back to the 1800s. It was part of a three-building complex that also included the Presentation Convent, which housed the Presentation Sisters, who came from Ireland in 1835. If you enjoy the outdoors, there's so much to explore. Placentia has a strong athletic history, and you'll often see recreational sports, such as basketball, baseball, hockey, and tennis in action throughout the town. You can also relax and enjoy the scenic picnic areas, such as the bread oven on the lakeside, or take in any of Placentia's great cuisine, offering a touch of history and a lot of taste. Experience history being uncovered with the archaeological digs that take place every summer. Discoveries are continuously being made in Placentia, and only the surface has yet been scratched. Don't expect to stay in at night. Placentia is alive at night with great clubs that cater to the mainstream music lovers and traditional music lovers alike. If you plan on visiting St. John's, be sure to stop by the Rodriguez Winery on the way. Located in Markland, just off the TCH on Route 81, the winery offers tours and sampling to its visitors. Learn how the exquisite wine is made from fruit to bottle. The Placentia area's rich heritage, majestic scenery and goings-on present a stress-free, refreshing getaway. Its laid-back atmosphere, charming residents and natural surroundings are a welcome change to the hustle and bustle of urban areas. With everything being in such close proximity, the Placentia area will make you forget time, truly giving you the experience of a lifetime. Thank you.